uh, for your agency, what are the challenges of enforcing compliance that will be coming up under the health care reform plan? How will you penalize individuals who don't purchase coverage? Yeah, um, so the health reform uh, uh, bill that was passed um, will have implications for, for our agency. Um, I guess the, f the first thing I would tell people, including the viewing audience, is none of the individual tax provisions come into, come into play this year. Um, this is all down the road, most of them coming into play uh, for 2013 and, and 2014. Um, second, the Department of Health and Human Services has the lead on all of the health-related provisions. Um, but there are a number of tax provisions which our agency is responsible for. Um, and they range from things like immediately this year, small businesses are eligible for a tax credit to help them buy health care for individuals, which is your classic tax credit provision. Um, there's a number of fees and taxes on different parts of the industry. Um, and then there's also a requirement that individuals either have health coverage or make a payment on their tax return. Um, our job is going to be um, to, first and foremost, make sure people are educated about all the benefits that are available for them. Second is get things like the $400 billion in the bill of tax credits out to uh, individuals uh, and to businesses uh, and others. Um, when it comes to compliance, especially I think the question was around individuals, um, I think the, the provision that's gotten the most attention has been the requirement that people have health coverage or pay a fee on their tax return. The way this will work is Department of Health and Human Services and the insurance companies will work together to determine what adequate health coverage is. When someone files their return, the insurance company will send us um, that, a little box that is checked, a yes, no question that says do they have coverage or not. They'll send it to the individual, the individual will attach it to the return, and they'll send it to us. Think it's just like a 1099, uh, where uh, you get information reporting about the interest that you have on the bank account. We will run matching uh, programs around that, and if somebody doesn't uh, have uh, coverage, they'll either, either have paid the, the penalty that they owe, or they'll get a letter for us saying that you owe this amount. I think there's a couple important points that I would make, though, about, um, about our role in health reform. Um, one is that um, these are not the kinds of things, um, check the box whether you're here or not, that we send agents out about. These are things where you get a letter from us. Second is Congress was very careful um, to make sure that um, there was nothing too punitive in this bill. And so we do not have authority. There's, first of all, there's no criminal sanctions uh, for not paying this. And there's no ability to levy a bank account or do seizures, some of the, the other tools. And so our role is going to be straightforward. It's going to be administering the tax provisions. And in many ways, we're going to be the major part of the payment system, uh, hearkening back to uh, Commissioner Yerkes and what I talked about before, because there's already a, a way to administer this through the tax system, I think that's why uh, the provision was put there. Following up on a question asked earlier, just to clarify, if you can't use sanctions to collect health care fees, what will keep people from getting away with not signing up for insurance coverage? Um, you know, again, we, uh, when, when somebody either will get health insurance, um, or they'll get it through the exchange and get subsidized by the federal government so they can afford it. Um, or when they file their taxes, there'll be money that is due. Um, my belief is um, while some people may play with uh, the kind of question that was asked, the vast majority of American people have a healthy respect for the law um, and uh, want to be compliant. Um, with uh, their tax obligations and whatever else uh, the law holds. Um, people will get letters from us. Um, we can actually uh, do collection uh, if need be. Um, people can get offsets of their uh, tax returns 
uh, in future years. So there's a variety of ways for our, us to focus on things like fraud, things like abuse, and we're going to run a balanced program. There, there's been a lot of um, attention uh, because uh, there's been a lot of attention and I think a lot of political heat around uh, health care. Um, what's important for everybody to know is uh, the IRS tries to stay out of the political fray. We try to administer the laws that are on the books, and we try to run incredibly balanced programs where our first line of defense is education, service, answering questions, getting out to see taxpayers, going to forums across the country, and that's really what we're focused on. Of course, if people um, are trying to commit fraud in the system or have abuses, we will have compliance programs, but um, there's been a lot of attention around the compliance programs, which are only part of what we're going to try to do, um, both with health care, um, implementation of the tax reform pieces of it, but really with any tax bill uh, that's passed.